we had gotten to number Yud in the notes that are down below. So we have to give a little bit of, um, let me see, I got everything okay here. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of background on this. We have a different gear, so this is on number Dalit, and uh, we have a different gear, so here, and the gear, so are changing. It's a changing world. Let's look at the top of the column just to read down the number Yud so we could get. Well, the concept of the Yud is. Let me. Excuse me, my nose is running a little bit. Okay. Uh, he said the last two lines. Below the Zer Anpen Ha'aras Zayn the Gugolta, and there's a note on that number Yud Ad Khan Ba'ain Sham, and we get a better idea of it, or perhaps uh, down below, and let's see what it says in the notes. Number Yud. He's talking about the fact that the Zion of the Gugolta, and the question was, what are the Zion of the Gugolta? And I'm thinking. That it really refers to some extent to the Zat of Atik, Atik Yomim, going into the skull of Zeranpin. But let's see, he's going to he's going to say some of this out. Let me see if I can we can understand it. So he'll be bir hadivarim behem shecha bechasifer the zinuta kan yo a yuvuir inyan oros kruma davira nukvin de bardashka the nose of the this kruma davira nukvin de bardashka. So we have these different three different prep phases. One is Kruma de Havira, which is a crust that covers over in some way. I don't know if it's crust or if there's a membrane that covers over the the Mochas de Ma. A Nokvin de Bardashka, then the nostrils. Ubutsine de Cardenusa, which is some aspect of Gavura. I'm not sure what it means exactly. Let's see what he says. So osius yat yud ke vav. So those three, he says, the kruma de vira, uh, the nukvin de partashka, and uh, the butzin de kardenusa, they're all represented by the letters yud ke and vav shehem mesheva tikun de Ki kruma de vira hu tikun gimel de gugalta. There's the third one. The nukba de bardashka is tikun zayin of the uh, of the of the tikun of the degalta. Ubutsinu de kardenusa who sowed gavura de atik tikun base. It would be so. Now you have two, three, and seven base de gugalta who motioned his bar called zecha the ale. This has been explained previously. So he says ein sham. The old mivur the halon. Later on, we're going to see like this inyan or amar naki. Now, I, I didn't know there was something that, I know there's this concept here of a different shade of white, let's say, or a side, some shade of white. Uh, it is through this Amar Naki, I don't know anything about this, that I don't think. Uh, this is how, through this Amar Naki, uh, that's the pathway or the mechanism by with which the osios of yud gay and vov also become which are the balance again the uh, maskala that we talk about but you have different definitions of maskala for who the tikkun dala the gudalda and shum and this is the fourth tikkun so we have two three four and seven the Moch Stima. So all of them go towards the Moch Stima, the Eric Anpen. This is all explained once again in the Mavu Sharm. Well, they usually say the Viagra, the El Perik Aleph. So apparently there was it was up there and we saw some of this before. So he says, but the Indian. Ad Yakira de de Yakiruso. So I kinda of remember those words, but I'm not sure what the touch is on them anymore. And when we talk about this concept of the Yakira, the precious of the preciousness, he explained Eric Anpin Nim Shah Nimizgala the Zer Anpin Kabu Bukur Bait's Chaim. 
the Shevach, the Gugalta, the Erek Anpin, Mam Shich, and the Zer Anpin, the Kumuva, uh, uh, Kumuva, Baharas, Al Sifra, the Tzniuta. So he, he wants to say that the seven, because seven is a concept really of Zer Anpin. The Shevach, the Gugalta, so those, the Erek Anpin, Nim uh, Shachin, the Zer Anpin, so those, the the Shevach that's coming out and going through the stu, uh, going in, in some way, into the Mokhas coming out, there's a major, what would you say, minimization of the light that comes from the, from the Mokhas Dima, and uh, eventually that light is digestible enough for Zeron Pen. But, so uh, let me see, the, uh, uh, so, so he says, V'chein mevur b'sifra d'zniuta l'elen perik alem. Shama v'talyan b'sheva de gogolta, that it, everything comes out of the sheva that's in the gogolta, that is really where the source of the light of the ants of uh, could be uh, uh, distinguished. Ugamuva uh 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 Ugamuva Sham Bishem Shar Mamari Rashbi Umihu Adam Nim Shah and the Zer Anpin, but therefore but they don't really come through Zer Anpin, Rak Derek Abhima that has to go through an additional a additional, additional membrane called, uh, uh, I'm using that word, uh, 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 or uh, filter, which is Abba Ve'ima Besod Ola Kulam Bahach Masisa Babina. So everything, the actual doing of it, making it come out, is going to be the second letter, hey, at any rate, is going to be coming from Bina, or the first letter, hey. Uh, of a, uh, I was thinking the first, the second letter, which is Yud K Vav, that was what I meant there. Ray Besifra the Tzidiyuta the Halon he sechet shevavuga bezecha beod explains further on this. Sha'arez zayin tikunde de gugolta mispashtin be gugolta de Eric Anpin they spread from the skull of Eric Anpin the matach of bekol gufa into the entire body of Eric Anpin. He sechet v'az heim meirin la Abba ve'ima from that position. It's not hard to understand that they shine to into Abba ve'ima v'zer Anpin v'zer Benuk. Uh, as called Goof Eric Anpin. So he's saying he's giving us the the, the trail of how this works. And that's what it says over there in the Sifra de Tsniuta Shahvasham Vizel the Shonam. Kamat the Sharih Bagugalta Ishtat Guha Mispashti Bakal Gufa. So what we find over here in the Gugalta, ultimately the essence of that light, the light of the Ain't Self that is shining there. Uh, is found in the body of Erekan, the the uh, uh, the shkala the rabakula, and it incorporated everything in it. Ad kan v'moshe bir v'hadras melech sham kumbuva ba'otz be'urim lo'halon sham ayin sham v'rei mashin is boyer ba'aris sham. One second, I just my nose is really going crazy here. Okay. Just a little further uh, elucidation of the fact that in the Gugolta, the seven tikkunim of the Gugolta, I think, which are related to the uh, the zat, with well, their positions, are, I'm not sure, the, the zat of uh, uh, of atek yomim. Let's go on to the next part, which is actually he said basically after he talked about the Gugolta, and then he said you have to look at it further uh, when you get over to uh, well what we're going to look at right now. Let's look at it a little bit further. And he writes like this, Re Bahadras Melech, Sham. So look over there in the Hadras Melech. Uh, Sham Shabir Khan Baofen Nofa uh, uh, Nusaf. He's, he's, this is the Hadras Melech, the same Hadras Melech that we've been talking about. He's got a different way of looking at this. Inami, he says, Rucha Hu Abba. When you see the word Rucha, it means Abba. Gemosha Kasad Marhu Badaf Reshcha, I guess Reshcha is on the base. Of the Sharma Mari Rashbi, he says over there. Vizel the son of Vizel of Vizel Habisum, Bisum means sweetening or perfuming. Vizel Habisum Kishin is Havra Ava Viba when Ava and Iba become joined together. The Hotzis, the Hotzis, they're Anpin. I'm not sure what the meaning of the word Bisum is. That's the language he used. Uh, so there was a little something before that, maybe. So at any rate, this Bisum, he says, has the ability to be, be able to join Ava Viba. And zer anpin, uh, and produce zer anpin. V'az hu ruach adagon is ba'atek yamim, and then we see that this is a light 
that was originally hidden inside of Atik Yamim, which is completely uh, very benimi. Now, I'm not sure what he means here. Uh, he's taking the word av, so av, so he said, Who's the av here? So I'm not sure what he's saying here. So then when Ava Ve'ima make a union, Dachia, and they become the Nichlalo, there this causes, I guess, to become incorporated in the Nitzutza, the, uh, the, the Nitzutzas, and again, these are the Birurim that are coming up there, and the Varavira Dachia, Zera Bezera Beyatza Gugolta to Kifa de Zer Anpin. Now, it has to be read again. Uh, this is how you make the skull a Zer Anpin. Uh, let's just read a little bit more. He says, read it back for the word Oz. For Oz who wuch the gun is ba'atik yamim. So I'm not sure exactly. Well, read the whole thing again. Rebbe Hadras Melech, Sham Shabir Khan Ba'ofen Nosef, of Vezechel de Shonu, E Nami Rucha Hu Abba. Okay, Rucha, we say some places it refers to Sir Anpin, it's an easy one. He says the Rucha is a male force and it comes from Abba. Gemosha Kasev Mamarchu Badaf Da 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 The Bishach Mamari Rashbi He says Vezel Lashon Vezel Habizim Shnis Chavrov Abba VeIbe Lachosia Zer Anpin Now I'm not sure how these these two ideas go together, but this Abba that he's talking about, this Rucha, he says it lodges in the Yichud of Abba VeIbe as they join together. Vaz Hu Ruach the Ganid Baatek Yamim And then you see that it's a Ruach. This Ruach is really what was hidden. In Atik Yamim, Vahoya Gonas Besoch Av Zer, and it was hidden inside of this Av, which I guess is Abba, I'm not sure, Zer of Viridakia. So this is all inside of this Av. Now I'm not sure that I could translate that, I understand exactly. Vikashech Nishabrach Abba Viba, the Nechlalo, the Nitsutsin, the Viridakia, Zer of Zer. So now you have the Nitsutsin that are coming up in Maim Nukvin, and they're reaching to the level, apparently, he's saying, the Viridakia. So why is it Yiziridakia? So, so he says this the combination of the Nitsutim and the Yiviridakia, he says it produces a Yatzach Gugolt to keep for the Zeranpin, a very strong skull of Zeranpin. For Amnam, Inyan Rucha the Ganis, and said that we have this idea of this Rucha that's Ganis, being Gugolt of the Krum Ganus, a Nig, a uh, uh, the trying to read Ganus, yeah, Ganu Ozer of a Ruach. So he says again, Ube, uh, so he says, I think it's a Bezer of Bezer of Yatzer of Golta there, the Amnam Inyan Ruch of the Ganis, that idea. Being the Golta of the Krum between the skull and a membrane inside of the skull, as it's possible to say something like that, the Krum Ganus Ozer of Ruach, this Ruach, which is coming from Atik, is actually hidden inside of that area. So he says somewhere in there. He says, and inside of that ruach is this aviradaki. So he says, so we're really working with words, and it's a little bit hard to to put them all together. For the fira benikra kuma devira, so therefore it's not just a kuma; it's a kuma with an avira in it, or the avira comes out of it. I'm not sure which word he said. He's amnam inyan ruach the ganis. Mengugolta the krum gonus also on ruach so the ruach, which he wants to say maybe that's related to the concept of an ar to the avir, but toch also on ruach a viradaki there's an viradaki inside of it. The fichach nikra kuma the ravira ein sham baorech ad kan. Yesh lana od ketzad yisfarish the fi zera lushen a mimer kan. So how can we explain of this lushen mimer here? Fula yisparish kach. Maybe we can explain it like this. He says bitsrira a bit bitsrira. What does the word bitsrira mean? Which we're saying means bind, binding or bound. Bitsrira ha'ara designed to kunda to gugolta. Should the razor gnuza b'muchus dima again the the binding here. This the zar the 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 ha'ara they come for the zayin to kunda gugolta. 
uh, which is bound and hidden inside of the Mukhus I think we saw that before, Kanal, Barucha, and so from this Rucha that we're talking about, he said, Nimshechad v'nizgala barucha shechuk shorish abba. There, this ruach, he said, Nimshechad v'nizgala barucha, which is the source of abba. The the masculine, uh, the abba, and then he has the word, the masculine, v'achar kach mischavrim abba v'iba, and this is what causes them to come back together again, and they cry masculine. Ah. I really got it today. Okay, and he says that this, this he, going back to the idea again, that Abba V'ima are really the definition of the word masculine because they're, they're balanced each other. And it causes here the Nitzutzim and the Viragadake to come together, or incorporates that. The nimshach bepichin is their anpin, and from it comes out the aspect of their anpin. I'm not sure that I really could. I think there's a lot missing there, uh, exactly where he's going. So let's come over here now to uh, how much more time we have. So let's go up over here and let's read number hey. Number hey is Rebbe Yathusha. So we know the Yathusha for many for many years. He said we Yathusha de Goris Khan that this is how this is the gear so that he's working with. He says the girsa is bekat for the katfing baruch the maskel below begaris milus and milus srira. So before we're trying to explain what is srira, srira, different bindings that he was talking about previously. He says at srira, kum bevucha v'da'ira be'inyan ruach achotim as we said up above in regards to the ruach and the chotim. He says, so we have this phrase, it's the rest of the phrase. Now here he writes the word, it said, he said, so this is a quote, which is, which is, so the ruach, it comes from this balance of these three letters. He says, he says, so he says, it's yud kevav, it's pirish, so now he's talking about where it's coming from. It's coming from the nostrils of Eric Ganpin, as we're possible to say. It actually comes from the mochim that are inside of the head. And then inside of the head, there are three mochim. I don't think we have anything particular over here. So let's look at number Yud Gimel way, way down. And he says, let's see, it's very short. He says, Because even the Mochus has three Mochin within it, which are the Chabad, which is the same idea that we have in the Yud Gevav, Apratim Shel HaMochus Another blow on my nose here. Okay, now let's go back up to where we were at number uh, Yud Gimel. Where is number Yud Gimel? Here it is. Uh, number Yud Gimel. Oh, so he says, Umikulam Yatsa Ruach Vehevel, Uva Olam Derek Nikve Achotem, Uva Ovram, as they pass through the Nikve Achotem, Sham Besoch Achotem, Miss Katvin. What does Miss Katvin mean? Oros Gimel Amochim. So miskatvin, he wants to say, is some kind of devagus, which we heard this idea before. So inside, we're seeing inside of the skull of Eric Anpin, as if it was possible to say this, here the binding of the three mochin, zech bezech ke'ilu, ke'ilu, omer mizdabkin. So as if that was the word, that's what this, uh, this, what this phrase, v'katvin, v'katvin, means. So he's going to once again, he has the Yud in there. A bit of the Mizdav came with the kind of, with a clean together, they they bound together. But the word Myri, the word uh, uh, Yitzrira is not mentioned there. For Od, Ki, Be'etz Chaim, Shom, over there, he said, with Pirish, Rabbein Doshep Nimil Zachotim, Hu Shem Sag. Now, I've seen it before. Uh, we have something on that. Okay, we're going on. 
So the Ipinimius is the name uh, uh, Sag, which is Gematria uh, uh, 63, Vechitsonius, who gimel shemos the Akia. Now, this is hard to picture. So what he's saying is that the letters are the inside of the nose of Eric Anpin, that is, the inside of the nose of Eric Anpin is composed of these letters. What are the letters? Yud vav dala ke yud vav alaf vav ke yud. That's the inside of the nose. That's what it is. Now you have to wrap that with the outside of the nose. What's the outside of the nose? Are, are Gimel, Shemus, Ekia. There are three Ekias. Ekias Gematra 21, 3 times 21, 63. And we call Elach of Bepechin is Yordin Ha'aros, La'abach of Ve'ima. And from these, all of these different aspects, that is the Sag on inside, and the three. Uh, uh, it's so interesting there. I'm not really sure what uh, you know how to make it, but this way he says the fact. He says the Abba ve'Ima of the Dzer Anpin v'Nukva. So from Mikol Edo Habechidos Yordei Naoros the Abba ve'Ima the Dzer Anpin v'Nukva Ayin Shon. So in other words, whatever the Haara is, which is a Haara that really precedes the concept of letters, they go through these letters. On the inside is Sag, on the outside is three twenty ones. The nimsa shemis katef, and he says, "What mis katef mean? If it means shemis dave kachitzonius imba penimia." So we see it comes out that they're they're bound together. Now, how how are they? How are they are they put together? Because they're the same gematria. Va penimios imba chitzonius beruchah the maskul ne beruchah the yored. So he said the penimios with together with the last year the two sets of of sixty threes. Barucha the Mimaskal and they come out through this Musa the Maskal and Baruch Ayorid where the Ruach comes out through that by them working together or binding together comes out a Ruach. The Nikroch Rucha the Maskal and that's what it's called. Ki Enena Yorid Venashid Ruach Echad Shava Lakulam Saki Enena Yorid Venashid. Now does a Nashid mean blows? Eno yored v'nashiv ruach echad shava the kulam ke echad b'chashva. So ki eno yored v'nashiv ruach echad shava the kulam ke echad b'chashva. Allah, but rather b'maskel. So I'm not sure what that meant. That phrase meant. So he says. Uh, so let's read again. He says ki eno yored v'nashiv. I'm looking. I'm losing the place here. Just a second. Okay, and then a yorv v'nashiv ruach echad shava lekulam. There's not just one ruach that represents all of that. I guess he meant again the inside, the outside, and the nose. And there's a ruach that's going to come through it. So there's not. So he said, and then a yorv v'nashiv ruach echad. It's not shuv shava lekulam that really incorporates all of them. Ke echad v'shva. Ella b'maskel, but this is the way that, but but a balance between the yud k and the vav and mamish to call echad kafi kafi arko uvechinaso. So it's a little bit vague here. Kashecha v'kasev rebeinu be'etz chaim. What he says over there, he says a shalea shel shel abel be'imach of the zera of the zera v'nuk to call echad yored haruach mishem echad ein sham ba'orech. So again. Okay, so that I ran out of time, but let's see. We'll, we'll continue on in this shir. The call echad yored lo haruach meshem acher. So each one of them has a different aspect. He wants to say over here that each one of them has a different aspect of the yud, the k, or the vav. Meshem echad. So he says v'nukva the call echad yored lo ruach meshem acher. Ya own sham ba'orech. Vim came who b'maskel. That's the balance we're talking about. B'mishkel the kol echad ve'echad kufi echad zorek lo adga. This is Baruch Fleischman, and you've been listening to the Tikkun Elevator Kolel.